Okay. So this time, the run starts on this screen, not the load game. So, without further ado, the run is going to start in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to do a little bit of backspacing on the name so that it's not Casey. Thanks, Desert. I really do need the luck for this one. Oh no, I didn't start my timer. Whatever. It can be retimed later. I just won't know how well I'm doing. Honestly, that's probably for the best. good menuing there um so this run i'm treating more cutthroat than the previous run because well this one is at least with its times it's not very forgiving to get a pb or the world record because it took me years to be the uh, 105 mark. And I finally did it twice over. Uh, now, Marathon Safe would be I get the fishing rod early, but it's actually faster to skip it, and I'm not going to go for Marathon Safe because I have an extra 10 minutes at least. So, if need be, I will use those extra 10 minutes that make the run 140. It shouldn't be more than two hours, but uh, there is the chance that uh, you will not see the red bell at all, or won't see it run. You'll still see it, but it won't be in my inventory and it won't be wrong. That there is that chance. Thank you, Heinz, for the good luck. I definitely need that. This is great. Got the map. Thank you, Kirby Rocks, for the good luck. This one's the one that definitely needs it. Um, so the goal of this one, uh, the previous one was to ring the green bell. This one is to ring the red bell. Uh, the only prerequisites for ringing the red bell is uh, the same as any other one of the bells. Uh, meeting the harvest goddess, which you need to get Bo's toolbox, which is the harmonica town meeting everyone there. Then you need to get a strawberry and a milk. After that... You go to the mines, fix the bridge, or give Bo the stuff so that he can fix the bridge. And then you sleep a day. Hopefully by that point, uh, you don't get uh, screwed over in RNG with rain and whatnot. And you'll be set to get your... Um, or ores that you need, which is uh, iron, copper, gold, and silver. Then a uh, brat kicks the bell into a chimney, which you use those ores to uh, create an explosion that skyrockets the bell out of it. Hopefully I didn't lose you, but that is the uh, basics of the run. Thank you, I am not sure how to pronounce that, but the good luck is appreciated. And will I be able to whistle for good luck before I'm able to control? No. 
Dang. Whatever. Uh, I know for sure there was a few times that I whistled. So. Let's get on with this. Um, so first things first, I'm going to go to Harmonica Town. Or actually, no, I'm going to the fields first. Follow the route that I did beforehand. Now, in the world record and PB, uh, I didn't get the fishing rod because uh, that was just idle time wasted, whereas uh, in those, I actually went into the mines a little bit and tried to get the ores that I needed, which is a change from the initial run to the one that I will be doing here. Of course, there is going to be a little bit of uh, movement optimizations, like right here, I'm trying to go closer to the uh, Horn Ranch shop, rather than just walking straight to the barn. And I'm trying to spam through text as fast as humanly possible. And I'm going to be given some things. Uh, the sickle might be helpful at some point. If uh, RNG is bad. But everything else is not needed. In the way of gifts. Except for maybe the cookies. Those, those can be helpful. At least when trying to find the ores. Make sure my menuing is down pat. And I have to wait until after they've done their bow in order to uh, actually buy something or uh, close out of the menu. Which... Uh, eh. It does kind of bite, but nothing you can do about that. Oh yeah, also in the previous run, funds were a somewhat of were somewhat of an issue, hence why I got the calf and the brush early on because I wasn't really uh, expecting to be able to afford the boat tickets without it, which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I was able to, so there's a little bit of time save there that could have happened, but, uh, me and Big Dumb No Smart, and I was making sure for certain that I was not going to screw that run up, because I already messed that run up once before. Also, there's no backup save, so, uh, hence why this can take anywhere between an hour and two. Somewhere in that range. Um, so what I want the timer to be once I am all said and done, I want the timer to be at roughly... 50 minutes when I'm going to ring the bell. 
of course, uh, with me not having my own timer, I'm not going to know. But I'll be able to do a whole retime on my own time and figure it out because uh, I am doing my own recording of this. Hurrah for recordings. Of course, I'm a little bit stupid and I didn't split up the two runs. But... Uh, it's whatever. Time lost. Oh, I'm stupid. That's about. That's seconds. That would have been precious. Or, well, I guess that would have been the equivalent of two whistles. Or three whistles. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, as long as I don't whistle. Yes, this run is from a new file. This is a standard Red Bell, uh, which Red Bell could do a new game plus, and I can't say for certain whether it'd be faster or slower. I feel like, honestly, a new game plus state of Red Bell would be more marathon safe, but overall slower than the uh, new game state. Of course, this is my personal opinion. I haven't tested it. And I have no intention of testing it. Um, really, the only possible big time save would be if there was some way to glitch across the bridge. When it's broken, that is. Of course, uh, Harvest Moon games are not without their glitches, but uh, this one seems pretty stable from the many years that I've played it. Uh, the only glitches that I've encountered were minute and nothing game breaking, sadly. Uh, there was one glitch where, uh, when I was talking to someone, the glitch... Oh, so they ended up walking away from me while they were talking with me. Which, uh... That was interesting, to say the least, in the Rene run that I did. Also, I'm not really caring about inventory management here. Because menuing. Also, if this run goes on for too long, I will need somebody to be like, hey, time is up. Which, I don't plan on it going longer than 1.30, but... I mean, so far this run is poor. But then again, it's only the first bit. But there will be no resets until maybe after. But then again, that's going to be a solo recording if I do another run of this.
also of the total of three speedrunners that have ran this game. I am the only one that actually turns off the nameplates for the overworld. Of course, uh, the runs that have been done are years old by this point. And I haven't done... Funnily enough, I haven't done the standard beating the game. Or the standard any percent run. But I've already done above and beyond that beating the game and getting to a new game plus state. I know it's a, a backwards way of doing it, but uh, my initial plan when I first started running was to do each of the bells individually, then do any percent, and then work on other categories. Uh, that's not how it ended up being. Because me and Big Domino Smart. Which the main issue is uh, Purple Bell. Once you're at that point, the run's basically over. For any percent. Hence why I haven't really worked at all on that particular run. I will eventually fill out the leaderboards, though. And uh, submit my own any percent that is hopefully a lot faster than the current record. But that's going to take a decent bit of commitment that I don't necessarily have at the moment. Oh yeah, while well, I am uh, just going through cutscenes that we've already seen. A uh, little bit more about the other bells that we have not seen. So, the red bell, I've already gone over the requisites of what you need to do in order to bring it. Um, the yellow bell... You need to get 10 good or better crops that, dip that can be any number of ones for the specifics, or there's one for each specific season. Um, the only two that, or the only three that I remember are lettuce, buckwheat, and pumpkin. Lettuce being spring, pumpkin being fall, and buckwheat being winter. Um, with that, uh, you need to give it to the uh, loot field owner. I forget the name offhand, but you need to give it to her, and then. She will be like, hey, I will open up this area. Thank you for the crops. And in order to actually get the bell onto its frame, because that bell isn't on the frame, um, you need to go to three places to gather moonlight between the hours of uh, 1800 and... Uh, Six in the morning. Where? Which the three. Uh, you haven't seen the Garmin Mind Spot, which uh, only Yellow Bell runs would show that off. Or anything that involves the Yellow Bell. Sadly, no Yellow Bell for today. 
Maybe next year. Anyways, um, after you gather the moonlight from the three spots, you go put the bell in the frame as long as it's a not rainy type weather day that's not on a festival. And... Then you are A-OK -okay for that bell. Um, let's see. Blue bell, we've already done. You need to get a black pearl, which spawns on floor 27 and 44 of the mine, or of the watery cave mine. Uh, you need a an egg from a quacky bird, which is a duck egg, and then you also need five of any fish. And then you need to do the melody of the town, which is the bell's melody, and that's the blue bell. So we've gone over blue bell, we've gone over yellow bell, we've gone over red bell, we've already done green bell. You need the hibiscus, which you get by ringing the blue bell and doing a little bit of a fetch quest. And then from there, you get perfect butter, no, good butter, perfect cornmeal. Other way around. Good cornmeal, perfect butter. I get perfect. I get perfect and perfect because, well, uh, speed sake. Um, anyways, from there we've done all four of those bells. Uh, the purple bell. The only other bell that has a prerequisite of other bells being rung. Uh, in order to ring the purple bell, you need to ring all four of the other bells. And then you need to make ten friends with people, which, uh, friends are at three hearts or more that you get the wish. You then turn in the wishes at the shrine thing that's in Perry's bedroom. Morning, Lampchen. How are you doing this early, I hope, for you? It's 11 a.m. That is still early for me. But then again, it's 5 in the morning where I'm at. So. Well, glad you are here to see Red Bell. Even if it's for just a little bit. Um, 20 or so minutes in, and I still haven't fixed the bridge. Uh, bridge will be fixed at around 30 minutes. Oh, yeah, anyways, uh, Purple Bell, you make friends, which is three hearts with people. Uh, turn in that, turn in those wishes that you get afterwards to the shrine that is in Perry's bedroom, essentially. And then you get to ring the purple bell. From the purple bell, in order to actually beat the main story, you need to... Uh, get a hero title in uh, a specific uh, category, which you'll see, kinda see, at the end of every day. Uh, there's the categories that you can get it in 
is fishing, farming, ranching, and then mining. Of those four, mining takes the most. Then it goes farming, ranching, fishing. And uh, titles only last for a season. So if you don't have everything good by the time that the season is up, if you did it that way, then uh, you're out of luck for that season, unless you're doing casual, in which case you're probably getting it the next season as well. Uh, you have to get at the very least hero in the title. Which for fishing, that would be 40k sold or shipped in one specific season. With that, we do fishing because that is honestly the most effective way to do it. You just continuously buy and sell salmon in the fall season, and you're set. I forget the exact number that you need to sell, but I think it's somewhere in the 200s. And after that, it's just a whole bunch of cutscenes. Or, no. After that, you make it to the top of Garmin Mines. And then it's just cutscenes from there. Which, that's pretty nice. Um, now, if you're wanting to do the beat the game, which is any, which is not any percent, which is getting to new game plus, um, there's a lot more you need to do. Uh, you need to upgrade your house twice so that it's at least level three. You need to have at least one child and a spouse. Uh, your child needs to be fully grown, as well as you need to uh, collect five items that correspond with, or that loosely correspond with uh, each of the sprites' elements. Uh, for example, uh, Ben, which, or not, yeah, Ben, which is the bluebell. Uh, requires you to catch a king salmon in order to make an item for the uh, post game or to get to new game plus which is a goddess seedling because uh, waffle island or another island that is basically the same island as this is in trouble and you need to plant seed there So roughly 30 minutes in, it's not too shabby, not too shabby. There was a little bit of a, a little bit of a hiccup along the lines, but that shouldn't be too bad of a time loss. Still looking solid. Uh, doing a little bit of a knock on wood. Actually, now that I think about it, I should be downplaying this run. Because every single time that I downplay it, usually it will be a better run overall. But this isn't a time for negativity. You need to stay positive here.
I think that's how this works, yeah. That weather is... scary. Because that's a few second time loss if it's rainy. I'll have a split second to see. Yep. A little bit of a time loss. Other RNG sucks. I mean, if this were one of the other categories, then I would have been happy because more rain. But if it's a Thursday, I cannot go out. Shoot. Is it a Thursday? Yep. I... Okay, so we're still... We're still okay. For the run. Uh, we're still most definitely on pace for 130. That That is not a doubt in my mind. But with the time being roughly 32 minutes, I'm going to need to get a decent chunk of good RNG. Now, since I skipped the fishing rod, uh, I won't be able to skip through time very fast. So I'll have to spend a few minutes actually my or well, I'll have to spend about a minute 30 mining. Roughly a minute. Yeah, roughly just a minute straight mining rocks, trying to get the uh, gold, silver, copper, and iron that I need. Uh, of course, the I'm not going to say which ones I don't get, uh, or that are consistently not gotten, because uh, I shouldn't think that. But uh, usually, it will never fail that I don't get one of them. And as we saw in the previous run, there are mad animals. They be angry and they protect. But they threaten with attack. We got a raccoon, bunny, boar, baby boar, bear, monkey, squirrel, and a weasel. Some of which aren't even remotely close to being in this area. And they no let through because they be angry. And I don't understand why they're angry. Yeah, they're all just hanging there. For whatever reason. Also, I know the Garmin Mines theme all too well because, uh, for the most part, in my casual playthrough, or casual playthroughs, I would be in the mines constantly. Because that's where the money, or that's where the big bang for your buck is. At least, uh, if you're not doing, uh, if you have extra stamina when you're done with your farming dealies. Or if it's a rainy day. 
It's always a great time to go into the mines and break rocks like this and this. Quit missing. There we go. Uh, now there are a total of five different ores that are able to be gotten here. Um, there is junk ore, which looks very close to iron, and holy cow. Uh, so there's junk ore, there's iron, copper, gold, silver. That's iron ore right there, which I will be picking up after I hammer a few more. Um, I'll point out the ores as we see them. Uh, that's another iron. But I'm not going to be picking up more than one iron since this isn't a beat the game run and I don't need extra ores. Um, I'm trying to use up as much stamina. Uh, this is silver ore and that is junk ore. I don't want to pick up junk ore, it's useless. That'll just take up an inventory slot base. Um, the goal here is to get all four, but uh, likelihood is I'm not going to get all four. There's another silver. Uh, copper ore is red and gold is a yellow. As expected of gold. And this is looking poor. Also, you'll be able to hear the mole a little bit. If you hear that little bweep boop, uh, that is the mole. Of course, I want to whack them all for trying for good luck. Uh, while I wait, I might as well grab the cookie and eat it. Yes, there are moles. I'm not going to be able to get the good luck mole. Um... So after I clear out a few more rocks here, I'm going to be going back to the surface so that I can start the fetch quest. Um, I will be going down the mines a total of three times. At most four times. Or uh, the way things are going right now, I'll be going down there four times. And now with the amount of time that I spent in the mines, this is looking to be about a 130, honestly. Maybe even a 140. Luckily I have the extra time to spare since I saved 20 minutes off the, uh, or well, I've got about 5 extra minutes. And the moles can drop, uh, a number of things. Um, usually they spawn on the seventh floor. Or every seventh floor. So seven, fourteen, so on and so forth. And what they can do is they can drop uh, any of the three mushroom variants that you can naturally find in caves. Um, it can drop a Body Geyser or Body Geyser XL. And it can also drop a Pontana Root. Oh, shit. No. I didn't mean to hit him. This is why you don't have your hammer out. Having hammer out is bad. You put away hammer. And the Pyrenees over there is big floof dog. That go work and do trick. Like chase tail. Stand on hind legs. 
and is very happy pupper. Of course, if you get a pet in this game, uh, they can do tricks and whatnot based on what breed they are or what specific animal they are. And you can also give them names. Um, if time permits, I will... Yeah, if time permits, then I will be showing a little bit extra. But if time doesn't permit, uh, oh well. Forty minutes. Uh, I would need heavy RNG to get better than a one ten because. Uh, Best case scenario, I would have already had all four ores by now. But it doesn't seem to be the case right now, so... It's whatever. I also just know... Or... I'm not sure if I've noticed this before, but... If you know... If you notice... Uh... Or if you noticed, there was actually a picture of Mayor Hamilton right there in the shop. There are also baby rattles, various cookware, and appliances, too. And I think that's... Yeah, I think... I can't read the text all that well, but I do read my and then something. And I've just realized that I started doing this run for this marathon three years ago. And I was extremely uh, timid about the run and very awkward. I am still awkward, but a little bit less so. Luckily, this community is uh, very welcoming. And for whatever reason, people end up watching me. Whether it be out of pity or uh, they actually want to, um, uh, that's up for debate. I know at least the people that are here are watching because the whole marathon is here. Well, I'm glad you are enjoying it. Uh, this is definitely more of a laid-back and relaxed game, albeit the speedrun not necessarily being too relaxed, but that's because uh, there's heavy RNG, and in my mind I'm going uh, 100 miles a minute. But outward, I'm uh, as you could say, chill enough, and I'm also I'm pretty much only talking, or kinda only talking for my own benefit to. Uh, keep me from looking at any sort of timer. Because looking at a timer is bad for this 
run especially. I need to not pay attention to any sort of timers. Or else uh, I'm going to start uh, feeling pressured. Because this is the run that I've put, uh, I want to say, at this point, seven years into. Of course, it started out originally as, how soon can I get this achievement done in game time? And then it was like, how fast can I do it in real life? And then I was uh, urged by my brother to actually do a run of this and uh, record it, which I did. It wasn't streamed or anything, and my initial run of this was like two hours and 30 some minutes. Um, uh, I'm not going to mine any more of the first floor rocks, it's not worth. Second floor rocks, however, yes, I will mine. And I want to use up as much stamina as possible. Yes, a fairly awesome brother, uh, he was the one who got me into streaming this game. And then, uh, it just took off from there. And here I am, uh, years later. Cool. That's the copper ore. One more to go. Can we get it? Oh, that, that orange. I've been, um, I'm going to do one more. And then I have to save my stamina for any possible uh, traps and whatnot. Oh, I didn't get the lucky mole. Dang. Actually, it's probably best that I did not get the lucky mole with the small bit of stamina that I have. I can mine a few. Okay, Confusion Guess is fun. No, it's not. Okay. I used up a little bit too much stamina here. I'm re-rolling the room here. Okay, I might need to go up a couple floors. Uh, this is... There we go. Now I should be able to mine a little bit on this floor. A uh, little bit of time loss, but as long as I get... Uh, as... As long as I beat the uh, estimated, then I am A-OK. -okay. Because I know for sure there's no way that I'm actually going to be getting anything lower than a 110. Because I would have to have the red bell by now. Alright, well. 110 is still on the realm of possibility. But. It's honestly hard to say until I get that last door. Of course, I probably shouldn't have uh, thought anything of the ores and how I don't get the specific one. But whatever. Also, the reason why I wanted to use as much stamina as possible without passing out is because I get a stamina refresh and a stamina boost here. After this cutscene.
and uh, and best case scenario, I would not have to worry about it. Uh, of course, this is one of the worst case scenarios where I will need it. And uh, if I don't get the ore in the next go round, I'm probably going to go until I pass out. And then keep skipping days until I actually get the ores that I need. Or ore that I need. Of course, had this not been for a marathon, there would be a little chance that I would let this run go on farther. Than this day, I probably would have already reset by the uh, day three since that was a rainy day. But this is Marathon, and we see things through here. Or, we try to see things through here. Um, I think there's only been one year where I had to go off of a different save, so... Uh, I mean, one out of that amount of times, that's not bad. Honestly. So, back in... So the... Animal Parade... Uh, channel of the Harvest Moon speedrunning community... Uh, was created on January 31st of 2020. Now with my refreshed stamina, I will be able to do a little bit more mining and hopefully find what I need. Um, I think the soonest that I found it was floor 3, and that was by far extremely lucky. Um, usually it's gold or copper that I don't find, one or the other. And uh, as things are going, I might end up reaching a mining level two. I broke all the rocks here, didn't I? Yes, I did. Or four. Got a couple of rocks here. Yeah, no. Or five. I should have a decent bit. Oh, that's six that I'm thinking of that has. Okay, here I should have. At least some... No, maybe. There's mining level 2. Or hammer level 2. That's rough. 
whack-a-mole, and it's just a mushroom. Uh, RNG is not in my favor. Uh, another iron, silver, silver, copper, copper. Dang it. Okay, this is the floor. Ah, uh, confusion gas is whatever. I've been in the mines so many times. Oh yeah, you can also just avoid it for whatever reason. Poison gas, that's a big oof. I do not want darkness or sickness or any of those gases. Confusion gas is fine. Healing gas would have been nice. Uh, poison gas is whatever at this point. Oh no. Last rock. Nope. Okay. So, now you get to see a death warp. Actually, I'm going to go... I'm going to go down. I'm at least going to trigger the quest. So that all I have to do is get the ores and then turn them in. The whole cutscene of the bell takes roughly four or five minutes. And I have to be wary of any festival day or Thursday because I won't be able to get into the blacksmith on Thursday. And now you get to see my, uh, least favorite part of any of the runs that involve this. Aside from the RNG, of course. There's Bo playing Kick the Can with, uh, people, and, uh, it's the Red Fell! Woo! Let me go up and catch it. Oh wait, no. A small child is running faster than me. And, uh, that child... ...ended up, uh... ...taking it directly into a chimney.
skill issue. Honestly, yeah. AC over here is just uh, a little too slow for his own good. This is a fine day. Right, I need to sleep anyways because I have no stamina. And I want full stamina for being in the mines. Caramel, you are a terrible farm. Far ahead of schedule. Okay, I've got plenty of time to get this. I mean, uh, let's see. So, the whole ordeal is going to take about 10 minutes. Or, it's good to estimate that the entire thing is going to take 10 minutes once I get the ore. So, I, I've still got about 25 minutes purely based on my own time saves and whatnot so it should be fine to finish the run the whole fully mind you this run can take anywhere between uh an hour and four minutes and two and a half hours because that's what my first run of this was But all is fair here. No PBs, no records, but still going to complete this. And eventually, I will be able to record my PB. And it actually be, or yeah, and it actually be on the leaderboards. For the time being, this is not the run. Um, I'm actually going to skip to floor three. I know that you guys watching can't see my facial expression, but on the inside, I am dying of laughter. <laughs> um, so we're looking at about, I want to say 115, which honestly is not a bad run. Uh, I would do inventory management in this time, but if I'm in my inventory, the time won't go. So this is a minute that I have to wait. I find it hilarious though, that the moment that I say, I'm going to go to floor 3, and before I could continue any farther with it, I got the gold ore. What I was going to say is, uh, uh, gold really doesn't spawn on floor 2. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. Casual playthrough. It's wonderful. Speedruns, eh, it's not the greatest. Um, overall, though, if I would rather take the minute time loss here than uh, have lost a minute way back when I could have gotten the... Uh, I am constantly doing stuff, and even if I'm looking at the screen, I'm not necessarily looking at the screen. And I kind of just go off to La La Land. My brain not in the game. But I got all the ores in a somewhat timely manner. And, uh, we are extremely far ahead of schedule, honestly. Um, just from my runs alone, we're roughly, uh, 25 minutes ahead of schedule. I do find it funny how, uh, the last floor before I decided to, well, I'm screwed. Uh, no, I cannot say it's on record pace, but I can say it is on time for the marathon. Because record pace, I would have already ringed the bell. So, yeah, currently the record is sitting at like 104 and like 104.30, hold on, consults the discord. Um, I know my PB is 103.43. Okay. So, the... Yeah, for the marathon, it, it is ahead of schedule. Um, so, the official world record for Red Bell is 1 hour, 4 minutes, 20 seconds. And then some nanoseconds. But, uh, I don't have the nanoseconds. Because, uh, we don't really use those with our runs since they're above an hour. At least for Animal Parade, we don't. Of course, I time it that way, but that's just for my personal benefit. So, a little bit of a time save. Ever so slightly. Um, if you want, I can uh, use a little bit more time. I've already showed the Kappa, and I can show the Animal Parade if you want. But this run is looking to be over in about 115. Uh, well, actually, no. It depends on uh, how good my other RNG is going to be. Uh, that other RNG being uh, traps. Um, if I go down very fast, it is also 5.45 in the morning for me. Or, well, by the time that I saw that, it was 5.46, but, uh, close enough. So, let's see. Will I just shoot through the mines? Or will I, uh, 
have to go the long, arduous route. Let us see, uh, floor two. Okay, so floor two and floor nine will never have traps. But floor three will always send you down, floor eight will always send you up. Five, I'll go. Six, cool. Yeah, seven's too risky. Hi, Mole. Aww. Let's see how long it takes to go down. And yes, I'm wasting your time. Because I could just as easily just go down here, but I don't want to. I want to see how far or how long it will take me to just use traps. Because, uh, I I've got time to kill, and this is by no means being a record. Or five. Hey, look, a copper. Seven. Hi, Mole. Whack. Ew. Red bell traps only. I mean, you can't really do traps only. Because uh, floor eight will only send you up. And floor nine has no traps. The initial floor... Uh... And you just saw me go straight through gas. Uh, but traps are... If you get good RNG, which I got on my uh, 103 something. 103.40. Yeah, 103.43. On that EB. Uh, I got extremely good. Low stairs percent. Yeah. Uh, there's only, uh, so maximum or minimum amount of stairs that you have to actually hit is one, two, three, four. You only need to go through four stairs. Each time you go through the mines, that is. Now time does not end after this cutscene. There is a cutscene after this cutscene. And time will end after that cutscene. Well, Alan got back to the bell. Also, I forgot to say this. Smoke sure is smoky. Um, so that's the line that Alan says after uh, getting shot from the thing. Also, time is now. GG's, so it was sub-115, I can't complain. Sub-115 definitely can't complain. Um, we definitely have time to kill, because, uh, well... Yeah, that's good for a marathon that we weren't resetting for. Um, I think... I know for sure that one of the marathons was past 1.30 and, or was going to be past 1.30 and I was like, okay, I need to do the backup or go to the backup save. Uh, it's not that I'm too good at the game. Um, I mean, what I can do while we wait is just start going down the mines further and further. Uh...
Oh gosh, this floor sucks. One of these. I'm not that. Uh, floor 12. And honestly, I'm just killing. Really? On floor 13? Oh, that was not 13. I went down to at least 15. I think there's a break at floor 20. Let's see how long it takes to get low. 16. I'll do it after the next break because I'm unsure when that is. Oh yeah, that's the mole poison guess. Hooray. Oh gosh, it's one of these here. Yeah, I know my placements. So I am to be cut off whenever the folks see fit. Uh, not there. Here? Yeah. So floor 20, so there's a exit down there, but uh, since I rang the red bell, there is actually a, a hot springs thing. ready to go whenever uh well if you're ready then unless people want to see me go all the way down to floor 45 then uh you can cut me off uh yeah but uh ringing the red bell unlocks hot springs which uh it reju ah. rejuvenates your stamina What's next? That is a good question. What is next? Uh, mushroom floor. Let's see. Schedule. We are looking at. Save the Homeland from G. Hines. Uh, let's see. So we've got any percent treasure hunt, two, and any percent horse race. Yeah, there's still approximately 30 minutes. It's. By, well, if I keep getting geysers up, then it'll take a long while. And I will still be around, probably lurking in Chateau. Once, you know, I'm cut off and whatnot. Man. 24, I should be going down. 26. Uh. Let's see here. Also, the... Staircases only spawn in specific locations. Also, seven, yay. Oh. Dang. Uh, like, here would be the uh, staircase down. Um, after you've played this, the amount that I've played it, you learn to pick up on these. Um. Right, I'll take slow down gas. It's not that one. Yeah, once you've learned, you will 
easily. Also, that's the Pontana root. You'll easily be able to tell where the locations are. Uh, so, this is a possible location. As I say that. Oh, it's only floor 30. Okay. Um, so, there is a power berry here. And, uh, well, all power berries could be a thing for this. But, uh, I'd recommend against it. And then I should be able to jump across. Uh, it's a little bit hidden. Uh, but with that, uh, this is a good place for me to be cut off. And I'm cutting myself off here. Uh, I've made it to the bottom, made it across to the lava. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you to the uh, speedrunning moderators for having me play. Peace.